Hey guys and welcome to another under five minute review and today we're looking at the uh, Captain Marvel by Kelly Sue DeConnick. So that's that and this is what it looks like underneath. Um, I actually love this. I think this is one of the nicer covers if I'm honest. It's definitely one of my favourites I have to say. Um, so initially when this coming out, I wanted to get the paperbacks, but never got round to it because I thought this will come out in hardcover eventually, and I guess it did nearly a decade later. I have to say though, it's worth the wait. This is really good, surprisingly so, and I think I think people will might find it surprising just how good it is because. This is not a character that has found success in the movies, unfortunately. And I love, I think the casting's great. I just think she's been stuck with crummy writing, in all honesty. Crummy writing in coming in at the end of the Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe kind of glory era, you know. But, I mean, that's neither here nor there, because this is a great read. So, you can kind of say that there's like four or five arcs in it. The first arc covers how she got her powers, and at the same time it includes uh, her coming to terms with those powers. And whether she wants them or not, and if she's willing to fight for them. And it's really nicely done. A um, bit of time travel involved. And it's just over, it's just a nice, good story. And, you know, it carries on from there, obviously. So, there's like a, a... Helen Cobb is like this mentor figure for her. And she's through this throughout the entirety of the run. And I only bring it up because it does it does connect to what I would say my biggest criticism of this particular book is. And it's not to do with the series itself. Because this is awesome. Like, I like the art. It does change quite a bit through various... As you go through the arcs, it really does back and forth. But... The stories are great. And it kind of leaves you questioning what the hell is going on at Marvel. Because Cap is awesome. And there's a lot of story here that they could delve into. Things that they could take, you know, inspiration from. And it's just not happening. And I think it sucks. And to be honest, I, th I think it probably comes down to the fact that they decided to make her an off-world character. So she's basically gone for years. I'm like, she spends no time on it. I mean, it's silly, but it is what it is. So, <clears throat> there's like a... I don't want to spoil things, but... There's that starter arc, followed by this arc where... It continues with the fallout of her of how she got her powers and it's kind of like where it brings that to an end like after that point there's no more no more fallout from it at all and uh, and then we get involved with um, the event that was going on at that time with the Avengers and the builders and um, and then there's repercussion from those builders, and that was really good story. Like they're all good arcs. Like I tell you that now, there's n there's no point where I'm like, oh god, I have to schlop through this. You know, they're all really good stories. Um, good read, but. So overall, it's great. But th there is one thing that I... I don't know how many people are going to agree with me on this. 
but the last run on this book and it comes back to why I bring up Helen Cobb is because she's like when you read it she's dying already she's gonna she's dying of natural causes she's just gonna die and it ends really nicely the final issue but instead of ending it there they decided to add the I think it's Carol Carol Corpse or that or Captain's Corpse or whatever basically it's from Secret Wars and it's okay it's this stuff right here but I think it's a mistake um those of you who just want content then it's fine like it is what it is but I feel like they really missed out here in just letting just letting it end in a really nice really nice way like it's like a missed opportunity almost like this stuff here could have been it, you didn't need to add this I don't think because it's a pointless ending as well you need to go back to Secret Wars for it and like if you're like me I didn't think Secret Wars was all that in all honesty <clears throat> don't get me wrong there's a scene or two that you know everybody likes but let's be frank it wasn't anything you know mind-boggling special most of the time and uh yeah I really I really think like I, I could have done without that I don't think that's needed especially because it leads nowhere I do have the other omnibus as well I'll read that eventually but I don't see this I don't think the other one carries on from me at all to be honest <clears throat> so yeah it's um I, th I feel like it's something we have to try and stop doing which is just piling stuff on for the sake of it you know when you could just have an overall really nice kind of together thing but yeah this was awesome i think most people would like this um this this one's a buy from me like honestly it, it's just a really good book but yeah guys uh once again if you found this of any use like and a sub